don't need JMX. I'm surprised no one's going up there. I'm surprised no one's knocked cool. down the uh, stream setup after like a salty logs. You know? Yeah, I mean, especially after all of these pop offs. To be For honest. For sure, yeah. All right, so game number one on Pokemon Stadium yep, two again, no surprise. Pichu versus Lucas. Damn, see. Spot dodging past that down tilt. He's going to get up attack and get back onto the stage. Let's move out to the very early lead right now. All right, but that lead is going to mean nothing. After all, those Pichu combos are online. They do so much damage, and it puts them in advantage more often than not. So already, Edmund, you can see Spoof coming in with that side magnet, letting Leffen know he cannot just toss out thunders willy-nilly the right. way he wants to. Already off of those uppers, uh, Leffen was trying to look to see if he can go ahead and get that thunder, but if he ends up doing it, the side magnet will absorb it, and Lucas will heal. All right, really smart there from Leffen to go uh, use the agility to go up and over Lucas as he had that down smash ready, but he's getting caught by the grab and an up throw. What a great read from Spoof. Okay. Nice tech chase with the with the uh, dash pads. Uh oh. TK three is not that really smart. Ooh. Wow. Lucas has enough recovery options to yeah. take it back. Whether it be with that Definitely. there off the snake or even with the PK thunder yeah. or the PK thunder rocket. Yeah. The, with Lucas, it goes so much further than Ness. The PK rocket will make it back. Like if, as long as you don't explode in the blast zone, he will make it back from any point of the, of the stage. But uh, I was actually surprised that that tether actually connected from the position he was at there. Hey, he knows better than I do. Two stocks apiece here. Getting to drag down a couple of lightning loops. Barely off the mark with that border, but both of these players are trading blows at the moment, and that is the third time in a row that Spoof has actually just tech rolled in. He's going to have to be careful. Let that might catch on to that. I have to say, man, Spoof is doing a really good job of maintaining his presence here against Leffen. Uh, trailing a little bit. There's the heal. Oh no, down smash really strong, but not going to be enough to kill. Oh, that was an interesting interaction. Left and trying to go in there with that forward so it's not quite going to get it. Spoof running around. Gonna look for a grab. Yes, he does. But not quite going to get a hold of the grab. All right, I like the downer off the ledge. Ooh, the upper. All right, Leffen moving down to his last stock here in game number one. I wonder if he shook. Nah, man. What he, the only thing he's gonna shake is his tail. He's gonna hit him with the little toes. Like, look, Forward I'm tilt, so strong. <laughs> Back here, possible edge guard now. Yes, he wants to go ahead and go out with that border. Unfortunately, now the air dodge is actually really good on a lot of these floaty characters. Give him a lot more trips. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've seen like Ness. He's able to like actually directional air dodge to the ledge. Most a lot of times doesn't even need his double jump or his big air uh, rocket. Oh <laughs> my god! It doesn't even matter if wow. he didn't get the spike. Yeah. Didn't That's kill either. Out back here. Yeah. No, so what I thought Leffen did is that he faded away enough to where the Thunder was going to go past him. Drag Lucas all the way down. Right. But it actually ended up hitting Pichu, so he got the last of box to hit him out. Quickly. And why we are still continuing at the moment, we have Boo sitting at 123 oh, now. Man. Leffen going to get a oh, possible down one? No, doesn't even have to do anything. Ah. Has to stand there and look adorable. Smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. <laughs> Absolutely, man. Unfortunate for Spoof right there. Uh, he did hit the wall, but in that position, it's really tricky. You do get a second PK Thunder, but you do have to uh, perform it immediately. And when you're so close to the wall, it's really tricky to maneuver that tail to hit yourself, though. It actually ended up, you know, clanking against the wall and just self-destruct. Yeah, that was a really good showing from Spoof. Yeah. Going down through the wire against the left and uh, the left hand able to go ahead and take up that game. Going back to the beach. Pichu versus Lucas, no character changes here. Uh, let's see what stage they went to. It's always the rough part, they pick the stage first, sometimes you don't even notice. It's gonna be Town and City. Uh, wider stage. Uh, yeah, at least he, he gets more room to work with. I'm just really surprised that Spoof is gonna be going on with this stage. Yes. Uh, just because he will benefit from having a smaller stage against the Pichu. Very true. Any, any grab that he gets, Go ahead and fill it up as we saw on the last stage. But nonetheless, it's counter pick, probably a counter pick. The weapon right now is just cooking. Okay. Had a little bit of a setup right there. If anything, he maintained like complete safety in that situation as he like uh, PK rocketed towards the center stage. 
No, not enough time for Pichu to get over there and get a punish. Oh, he's gonna fall out of the down smash. I think he has the eye. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> he just fell out. Yeah, but down smash actually is great. Oh, more Pichu has invincibility trained on startup. So, you know, if they're able to call you out, you gotta be careful how you throw out those hitboxes, especially there at the ledge. Most you know, people like to rise oh. with an aerial. Uh, really smart of Spoof to get out there. He ate a, a bit of a hard combo right there. Not going to get caught with the Thunder. That would have been a really early like second stock for Leffen as well. Leffen playing this a lot better than he did in Game 1. Really just understanding what Data. Spoof is looking for. Using a lot more of the Thunder goal. Making it very difficult for Spoof to get in. Okay, fire spinning. Leffen right back on space. Going for the PK Thunder, but... You know, the difference between his Ness and Luke, especially on the PK Rocket, you know, when Ness is just one big hitbox, yes. but with Lucas, it's just many, many hitboxes on hitboxes, it the way yeah. it goes. So, not a lot of shield pressure there off the Rocket. Oh, he's gone, man, Leffen. Just making the claim to fame right there, get it going off with the down air. Still has his first stock intact. What's Spook going to do to bring this back, man? It's looking pretty grim. And a quick plenty off that upper, leading into the back air. Leffen kind of just running back and forth, trying to make sure he doesn't lose the stock. But as I say that, landing down off with that up throw, too. Yeah, it's beautiful, actually. He used the neutral air to drag him down into the <laughs> up tilt. Speaking of getting dragged right there, it was very fortunate that Spook got dragged down onto the platform. Leffen was trying to carry him off with the forward air. Okay, great back air there for Leffen. Just gonna maintain himself underneath Lucas. He's doing a really good job of just like jumping and landing on him with these neutral airs. It doesn't really seem like Spoof is ready for them. Oh, the very final hit of that back air connecting and Leffen closing out game two with a two stop. You don't need to lay the recovery for so long. Leffen just went all the way out there, caught him, hit him with that back air, and took it. Oh, here we have Void kind of giving.